What is the most effective path of a software developer career? How to get from hello world to average salary of a software developer senior? Because a lot of people talk about software developer career in terms of junior, mid, senior and all of those levels. But let's be clear, we all want to earn money to sustain our better lifestyle. That is our goal, not to progress to career in terms of titles or projects. It's all about salary because salary, that's what gives us opportunities to live how we want. So I've identified three phases in every software developer career in terms of money. First phase is from zero to first income. Basically, you can deliver your first project or get your first job. So this is the phase one. Then second phase is from first income to stable income which means that you have a stable job and probably if you lose that you will find another one or you have a stable set of clients for freelancing work so basically stability is the phase two and phase three is from stability to I called it get paid whatever you want at some point in every developer's career if they are senior enough or good enough all the recruiters and all the companies start hunting them offering more and more bigger salaries and in the end, it's almost you write your own check. And those three phases, in developer terms, correspond to this. Just a random image I found on Google Images. And let's talk about those three phases. Junior, mid, senior, which actually corresponds to basic income, stable income, and then unlimited income. And I will give you my own advice from almost 20 years of my career, both from my own experience and from what I've seen around me. The same question, what is the most effective way to get from zero to unlimited income? Let's start with the phase one. Imagine I'm a zero developer, no developer, and I want to get to my first job position or first freelance project. And usually charts like this come up on the internet. So developer roadmap, listing technologies that you need to learn to get to your level to senior or to junior or to whatever. If we zoom in a bit, there are quite a lot of technologies listed before even Laravel. So general development skills, involve HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a few more things. And this is all fine, but how I like to think is from practical point of view. So if you want to get to your first job position or first freelance project, you need to find that goal and then reverse engineer what you need to learn for that position. So let's browse through jobs and freelance projects for junior developers, and then later we will get back to this roadmap and see what we actually need to learn. So I found just random junior Laravel developer jobs and let's see what we have here. So one year of software development experience. It's usually one or two years. So what does that actually mean? Development experience is not that you can write code. It's that you released some projects already. So experience means launching the project. So creating end to end, maybe for yourself, maybe for your family, maybe for your friends, maybe some freelance work. So you have actual experience of not just writing code, but actually creating the projects end to end. Next, what technologies? One or more backend languages. And this job ad is actually really good because it's not about Laravel. It's kind of a choice whether you want to be PHP, Node, or Python, or C Sharp. But anyway, for junior requirements language, then JavaScript programming, then one or more frameworks, then database, then HTML, CSS, and then some soft skills like English and communication. Let's get to the next job and we will see the patterns later. So also junior position, essential PHP and Laravel, which means language and framework, and then essential Git. So working in a team and source control repositories and all of that. And then desirable, C desirable, AWS, SQL queries, APIs, TDD, front end frameworks like Vue, React, or Angular. These are not essential, they are under desirable, but it means that that company works with all those things, and at some point you will have to show the skills of those. So, see how high is the requirement for junior developer? Let's get another one. For junior developer, what you'll need PHP 7, JavaScript with React and Vue, so also language and framework then HTML, CSS as a given, then SQL and database structure. Some of that is knowledge, some of that is understanding. So the difference is that you have to have practical experience or at least understanding of TDD and principle. So from these three job description, what is your patterns? Do you see any patterns? First pattern is that for junior developer, it's a must to have practical experience with projects. So even before your first job, you have to create something to show something and then second pattern is on whatever job, no one is actually working with language only. Everything is around frameworks. So you need to learn HTML, CSS as a basics, then JavaScript as a basics, and then PHP or whatever language as a basic thing. 
And then on top of that, there's a framework. It's either Laravel or Django or whatever on the back end. And then there's React, Vue, Angular on the front end. And these are minimum requirements to get a job position. These are positions in UK and US, but I'm pretty sure they are pretty similar in other regions. So you see how steep is the curve from total zero to get your first job. Now let's get even more practical. Freelance job descriptions, freelance projects are even more practical about the types of projects that you want to work with. No one is really mentioning here junior or senior, but people need projects to be done and let's see what we can deliver with junior skills. First is developing food delivery apps, so looking for Laravel developer who can deliver APIs. And then super admin web modules for restaurants, users, and drivers. And of course, the actual job is much longer job description than these two sentences, but you can pretty much sense the scope that you need to have Laravel admin panel, Laravel API working with MySQL, and of course, HTML, CSS is kind of a given because you need some kind of a backend panel, which will probably be on some kind of bootstrap CSS framework, so you need to learn that as well. Another job description, SaaS web application, SMS, SaaS web Laravel, so you need to be able to send SMS with some kind of provider. You need to know how emails work and how to build a SaaS, which is software as a service. And that probably includes billing, usually Stripe or PayPal or whatever is the payment provider here. And that probably includes roles and permissions for various user types and billing and invoices. And there's quite a lot of stuff included in SaaS application. And another example, a bit longer one, but platform where team can track and document interactions with clients. It's kind of a CRM with roles like program director overseeing the team, then coordinator are responsible overseeing outreach staff community, community ambassador, community license, I'm not even sure what's the word here, office manager, and it should be web-based, project analytics reports for milestones, and a lot of stuff in between like sending mass text updates and stuff like that. So also kind of a backend admin panel with Laravel and SMS sending and some kind of a theme on Bootstrap probably. <laughs> and last one, last example, web application using Vue, Angular and Socket with CRUD operations, which is create, read, update and delete. But this is full stack. So you need to know not only Laravel, but also front end and Socket for real time data. So these are just random projects from Upwork about Laravel. And now let's get back to our first roadmap. So is the roadmap correct and how much you actually need to know to get your first job or first freelance project? So indeed, all the general development skills are applicable. Before learning Laravel, you need to know all of them. It's a question on what level, but you need to be comfortable with all of them. And then you get deeper into Laravel. But even before Laravel, you need to set up your local development environment. All of that can come above. So you need to set up PHP environment and also Laravel environment with whatever web server you want. It may be Homestead, it may be Laravel Valet, it may be MAMP or XAMPP or Laragon, whatever. That's your personal preference, but you need to be able to do that. And then there is Laravel stuff like routing, controllers, views, models. And I will link all the roadmap in the description of this video so you can check that out. But what I would suggest from practical point of view, you should learn the theory of all the languages, then Laravel, and then go deeply practical. So create some kind of demo project for yourself, for your community, put it out on GitHub, on the server, learn how to deploy stuff, how to configure the domains. So release something in public. It will give you the confidence that you can actually deliver from end to end. The project scope may be small, but you will be actually able to deliver the project. And with that, you will bump into dozens of problems of how to do this, how to do that in Laravel, how to deploy on the server, how to configure domains. And only by bumping into those practical problems, you actually learn, you actually evolve, and you get much more useful as an employee or as a freelancer. So to summarize, there are three steps how to reach from zero to that first phase of first job. First, learn the theory of language and framework, whatever you want. Then create something practical with that. And phase number three, learn the things that you actually need for that position. Analyze the job description, the project description on Upwork or whatever. In these practical examples that we've just covered, you may need to learn how SMS are being sent, how the API is delivered in Laravel, how TDD works, what is a SAS and how roles and permissions work. So a lot of things to learn, but I suggest that you learn from practical point of view. 
Those theoretical topics can be learned from Laravel documentation, from tutorials, from online courses, including my own on laraveldailyteachable.com. I have a free course actually. On top of paid courses, there's one free, Laravel for Beginners, your first project. And that includes all the things, well, maybe not all, but most of the things that are in that roadmap. So routing, views, HTML, blade, database, authentication, form inputs, and basic things. And in theory, after that course, you can create your own first project. Not apply to the full-time job, maybe apply to some freelance work if it's an easy job, easy project, easy task. But this list of lessons could be a starting point for you. But then what I would advise is start practical projects and learn theory along the way, the actual theory that you need. And this is my overall general belief that I'm trying to communicate on this channel. That's why I have so many demo projects because what I'm trying to do often is take the real project take out one or two features out of that and then shoot a video on that topic. But as practical as possible, touching the Laravel theory or whatever theory and then linking to the official documentation or some tutorials or courses. And even my courses are usually around typical projects like roles and permissions or API or SPA or whatever. Usually I'm creating a real or mini real project throughout this course, touching the theory along the way. So I'm a big believer in just-in-time learning, it's called, or practical learning. And at some point in your career, you will be able to apply to the jobs or freelance work when your practical knowledge matches the theory that you learn along the way, and then you'll reach your phase one, which is first money from development. In the next video, we will talk about the phase two, which is from first money to stable income, where you would be comfortable with your job position or freelance income, how to reach that.